Here's a quick proof of concept to import a 3D model and provide a printable part and output in a variety of file formats. Visit TurboSquid and download this glass bottle. Notice a variety of file formats are available. The FBX is preferred over OBG and we'll show you why. Let's go ahead and download this film box format. Notice that after importing, I can see that this model is very small. So the first thing we're going to do is scale this. We don't have to calculate the scale percentage. We just type in the required height, depth, or width, after which the system scales it for us. Now notice that shadow around it. That means that the object sits underneath the plane. So let's go ahead and lift that up. And then use the drop down to position it on the plane. There you go. Now let's save this file as a Collada file and place this in Adobe Illustrator. Notice we cannot place this because there is no printable part in this 3D model. So head on back to the Studio Toolkit to add a printable part, in this case a 5 by 6 centimeter label. Save this a second time, place this, and you can see that Studio has preserved the individual parts of this bottle. So each of these parts we can assign a color, a transparency, highlight colors, materials. Now showing you the same workflow but this time for an OBG file Let's go ahead and close this one. You'll see the limitations of the wavefront.obg file. So we go through the same workflow to scale the object to the proper size. Set it properly on the Z plane. Add a printable part. And place it in Adobe Illustrator. Notice here, however, we cannot select the individual parts of the model. So after placing this Collada file in Illustrator, you can see that we have a few output capabilities. Before we do that, let's add some graphics to the label. Scale it to the appropriate size. Change the preview mode. Optimize the finishing operation stack and change the substrate to an invisible label. Now we can export this to a Collada file and import this in 
Store Visualizer. Let's position it on the ground plane. Import. And the advantage of importing this Colada model here in Store Visualizer is the fact that we can interact with the content of the bottle. So in case you want to visualize the liquid in here, no additional operation is needed. We just go to the Material Editor and change from standard HDR to a refractive material for the glass. And right here, using the volume, we can set the volume and give it a little bit of color. Set the viscosity and refraction index. Starting the physics, you'll see that when we knock over this bottle, we have this super realistic view. So that's Store Visualizer. A second option I'd like to show you is using our Keyshot repository. Keyshot is a third-party software, which I'll start up here and open up this Keyshot bundle that we generated. Change the resolution preset here to a portrait 1200 by 1600 using the tumble, pan, and dolly option. And now we can easily start applying materials to this different material stack. So if we pick this uh, light frosted glass, we simply drag and drop it on there. Let's assign a aluminum to the hinges. Notice in the Material tab, you can see all the um, properties. You can even show a Material Graph, which shows you any type of um, mapping texture that was applied. So you have all the possibilities here to uh, change these options. Let's uh, apply a hard, rough plastic to the top and then a soft silicone rubber to that rubber ring. In the advanced tab we're going to change the color to a brown color and then from here you can render and export. Okay, so a next option, apart from the store visualizer and the key shot, is using ESCO's native ray tracing. So here the only thing you have to do is uh, specify ray tracing as quality, hit the export button, and then wait the appropriate uh, amount of time it takes for the software to render this. So here I fast forward it to show you what the final output will look like. Hope that helped and visit us at uh, esco.com for more information.